Who will win Super Bowl 59? The Eagles or the Chiefs, who are looking to become the first NFL team ever to win three consecutive Vince Lombardi trophies. This video will answer this question from a betting perspective. In case this is your first time watching any of my 1000 plus videos, my name is Professor MJ, a former 15-year university statistics teacher turned into a full-time sports better and advisor. My story generated a lot of buzz in the media in September 2022, including making the front page of the newspaper and making some TV appearances. The number one goal of this YouTube channel is to help gamblers from around the world growing their bankroll. As simple as that. So thanks for tuning in, my friend. Let's dive into the main topic of this video. Which team will win the Super Bowl that will take place on February 9, 2025? After analyzing the game in great details, I am backing the Philadelphia Eagles to win the game outright. That is my official pick on the side, but stick around because I am much more excited about betting the total on this game. If forced to bet the money line, I would go with Philly as slight underdogs, but I see it more like a lean. Let me share my arguments with you. First, the rest factor does not have an impact on this game. On one side, the Eagles were at home for five weeks in a row, while the Chiefs did not need to travel in any of the prior three weeks. Now, let's discuss each team's margins of victory. It says a lot about these two squads. Since their bye week, the Eagles have owned a superb 15-1 record. Their lone defeat ended by a 36-33 score in Washington. In that game, Jaden Daniels threw a 9-yard TD pass to Jamison Crowder with 6 seconds left in the game. It is worth noting that Jalen Hurt missed 90% of the contest following a concussion, so that clearly helped the Commanders getting the W. That being said, what was the average margin of victory in those 15 Eagles wins? The answer is 14.9. Keep that 14.9 figure in your mind, please. Let's switch to Andy Reid's club. Excluding their Week 18 loss, where almost all of their starters rested, the Chiefs posted an incredible 17-1 record. Alright, so what was their average margin of victory in those 17 wins? Only 6.9. That's significantly lower than the 14.9 average we found for Philly. In fact, we have a 2 to 1 ratio. To me, the Eagles are the more complete team on all levels. They have the better defense, their offensive line is a lot superior, they have the better wide receivers, and, of course, the better running back with Saquon Barkley. Let's focus on defense for a minute. Both teams have a unit that's been quite stingy this year. But, like I said earlier, I give Philly the edge in that department. The Eagles allowed the fewest yards in the league during the regular season, while KC ranked 9th. What about points allowed? The Eagles occupied spot number 2 versus number 4 for the Chiefs. According to almost all possible metrics, the Eagles have had the much better pass defense. Indeed, they ranked among the league's best, while the Chiefs finished in the middle of the pack. When it comes to run defense, Kansas City fared slightly better than their counterparts though. Still, overall, we have more talent on Philadelphia's side, in my humble opinion. Granted, the Chiefs have Patrick Mahomes. And they have Andy Reid, who has proven multiple times that he knows how to win. His game plans are fantastic. 
Mahomes and Reed are the main reasons why I am not overly excited about betting Philadelphia to win outright. A couple of Super Bowls ago, the Chiefs prevailed after trailing by 10 points at halftime. Then, last year, the Eagles got some payback with a victory in Week 11, after being down by 10 points at halftime. So, I guess the goal is to avoid grabbing a 10-point lead through the first two quarters, because it has brought bad luck to those teams. Ultimately, I believe the Eagles will win Super Bowl 59, but I can't say I'm super confident with that pick. However, I absolutely love a bet on totals, and I had no hesitation whatsoever to make it my lobster bet. It either concerns the full game or the first half, by the way. For those of you who are not familiar with the concept yet, the lobster bet is my highest confidence play of any given week. Its name comes from my lucky lobster bell that I got from my late grandparents a while ago. I started introducing this lobster bet concept in week 14, and since then we have racked up a 6-2 record. You can see on your screen what those 8 value wagers were. I am super confident that we will make it a 7-2 record. If you wish to grow your bankroll, along with our large group of sports investors, I recommend that you invest in that betting tip. And that's what it is, an investment. The pick is locked in and readily available for you, along with all of my arguments backing this play. In order to gain exclusive access to the document revealing this great value wager, I invite you to follow the link below. The investment required is $80, and I hope you'll get in the action to crush your bookies so that you can earn several hundreds or even thousands of dollars with that bet. Act now before the line moves against you, though. I'm Professor MJ, bookie crusher since 1999, and holder of a PhD in statistics. I'll talk to you again soon because I'm going to share some good proposition bets in the week leading to the big game. For now, I'm looking forward to share my high confidence bet with you at the link below.